Here's our Conscious Kids report on the realities of getting into showbiz. Can you tell us what it takes to get taken on by an acting agent? I think all it takes is, you know, passion and dedication. You know, we always look for something special in people and you don't have to be all singing, all dancing. You don't have to know every language and play lots of musical instruments. Mm -hmm. If you have something special and you're dedicated and you try hard, then an agent will see that and will want to work with you. Why is it such a tough industry to get into? I think it's tough because everyone wants to be in it. You know, we might say, oh, I don't want to be famous or I don't want to be an actor, but growing up, I'm pretty sure everyone always had dreams of being on the stage or being, you know, in films or on TV. And I think because there is this excitement around the industry, there's so many people that want to do it and that's why it can be tough to get into. Do you have a message out there for kids trying to be actors or actresses? Be yourself. You know, just um, be yourself. You don't have to be a version that someone tells you to be. Follow your instincts, follow your gut. You're never too young to know exactly what it is you want. And yeah, I would just say as long as you're yourself and that's what you show to people, you'd be a, you'll be a successful actor or actress. Follow your heart. Exactly. <laughs> In the book Waiting for Callback, Electra has to deal with a lot of waiting. What's a good way to deal with all the waiting? Uh, honestly, what I always tell my artists is to try and put it out of your mind. Once you've gone in for an audition, um, whether it be the first time or if it's the second, third, fourth recall, which can happen, the best thing to do is when you walk out of that room is to think, I've done my best, I've shown them what I can do, now I just have to put it out of my head and wait and see what happens. What's your best way to deal with rejection, whether it be in school, on social media or in our careers? I think with rejection, um, don't take it personally. There's a reason why people might reject you and it's because they are insecure about themselves and they are taking it out on you because they can't deal with how they feel inside. So when you are rejected by someone in school, on social media, and in careers, it could be just because you're not right for the part. It, that's simply all it could be. They might have gone with someone with brown hair. That, you know, it's never personal. Colleen, thank you for joining us on The Crew and giving us such amazing information. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've learned something, as I know I certainly did. And moreover, this has inspired you to pick up a copy of Waiting for Callback. You're in for a treat. Bye for now.